of the season. Uh, this year, of course, and we'll just we will mention the coronavirus very briefly here. Can't get away from Sorry. Corona. It's COVID nineteen. It permeates our existence sure these days. Um, the uh, the province of Ontario, uh, in, as part of their uh, effort to isolate us from each other and uh, it get us to practice social distancing, had uh, closed all provincial and municipal recreation facilities, uh -huh. and. It, it happened that, uh, in someone's mind, a community garden fell under uh, the definition of a, a recreation facility. So I got an email one day from the, my contact with the, the town administration, and she said she was very sorry to say, but it, we, we wouldn't be doing it this year. Uh -huh. so this, this had happened all over Ontario. And uh, people got together, and a position, uh, a petition was created. Over ten thousand community gardeners signed it, and uh, about three weeks ago, I think it was, uh, the gover the provincial government had announced that uh, they were going to uh, classify community gardens because they are used to produce food as an essential service. And yeah. we would have to, uh, we would be able to use the garden this year. Of course, we would have to follow the the local uh, public health people's recommendations as to what we were going to do. So it took a while to draw up a set of rules. Uh, I was closely in, involved in that, and and of course now we're we're staying uh, two meters, six and a bit feet apart, and uh, we're limiting the number of people that can be there. And, and we aren't having a potluck uh, dinner now, or I suspect in the fall, which is too bad. Yeah, I, I ran uh, all summer last year. Uh, I ran my mobile uh, Doomstead Diner uh, out in my parking lot. Uh, a, uh, you know, basically I provided free food uh, to my community, which is uh, uh, probably, I think we have about a hundred units uh, and uh, they're uh, anywhere from one bedroom to three bedroom, and uh, so uh, there's probably 200 to 300 people living in this complex, uh, and it's a variety of ages, uh, and it is a uh, uh, federally subsidized tax credit place, so it's mostly poor people, old people, and crippled people, like me, okay, uh, and uh, and so, you know, I would uh, just go out and provide uh, food to them, but I'm not doing, uh, doing it this year, uh, at least not yet, uh, although Alaska has relaxed uh, its restrictions regarding, you know, food. Uh, the restaurants are now, I think, allowed to go up to 50% capacity uh, up here. But I'm not, uh, you know, a restaurant, okay? Uh, you know, uh, my, uh, it's a, it's, it's like doing a big barbecue, okay, uh, as it is now, because yeah. I don't charge for it, so I don't really need to have a food license or anything like that, okay? Uh, if I start to charge for it, want to do that, then I need to, uh, I need to jump through a whole bunch of state hoops, uh, which I prefer not to do, uh, and I don't need the money, okay? Uh, so, uh, I prefer to just give away the food. Uh... At any rate, uh, you know, but that that's the size of my food, uh, my my little attempt at, uh, you know, discussing things. Gives me an opportunity to talk to people, you know, uh, about what's yeah, going on in real life. Yeah, in real life as opposed to, uh, yeah, you know, sitting down over the dinner table with other people, you know, when you go visit people, of course, if it's family members, it's usually an argument, but... <laughs> uh, it's, uh, you know, that's uh, breaking bread, I think, uh, you know, they call it, uh, is, uh, uh, you know, a great way to talk to people. Anyway, okay, enough about me. Uh, back to uh, uh, the garden. So, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, what are the regulations that you put in place? What do the people need to wear? Uh, do they need to have gloves on and masks, etc.? Mm -hmm. 